we'll react to some playoff hot takes of the weeks from Discord, and then we'll get into our own regular hot takes of the week, because I ain't gonna lie. I've been fiending to get this one off. Peanut says, Celtics and Bucks are first round exits. Oh my god. Both Celtics no. and Bucks? I ain't gonna hold you. The Celtics lose, the they're turning into the Clippers. They're, they're the East Coast yeah, Clippers for me. I need the Celtics to happen, though. I ain't gonna lie, but... You're uh, tell, telling me both. the Celtics gonna lose to the Bulls or the Hawks? Nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hold on, hold on nah. now. There you go. Hold on now. Dejounte Murray got Jalen Brown number. Don't do that. <laughs> Not last year. Unless Philly played, then maybe you what go Philly. I forgot Embiid is coming back, but he uh, hurt. Uh, somebody team about to lose to five teams. No, Mike, keep going, bro. Somebody yeah. says the Pelicans are going to the Western Conference Finals. That's from King. That is one of my dark horse picks for the West. I'm not going to hold you. Pelicans are a scary team. Everybody can't win. Someone has to lose. Pelicans are one of those losers. Sorry. I like the Pelicans. There's a lot of old Lakers on there. Low-key roof for them, but I'm super cool on that. <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't beating the Thunder and someone else. It's not. You get off that. <laughs> now, I'll make it to the second round. That'd be cool, but. Yeah. I like this one from King. Don't even think about just this year. Just, just with what's coming up. Like in the recent years and then the upcoming years, Knicks will go to the Eastern Conference Finals before the 76ers. I would put money on that if that was on prize picks. I'm not going to lie to you. That's actually a really good one, bro. I don't think so, though. I got Philly, though. I'm I, go. Absolutely. Julius Randle ain't there. So, yeah, the Knicks are gold and they might go to the finals. But like, even, all right, think about it this year. Even if both of them don't make it this year, and then no, Philly. It's going to get Ooh. older and be. Mm-hmm gonna get less healthy so now you're banking on old ass tobias harris because he's still making a bajillion dollars from the nigga tyrese maxi to really take steps up mm-hmm. but on the Knicks side they're still relatively young they got some good core pieces i'm not gonna lie new york is looking like one of them destinations again yeah. at some point the knicks would have to I, I i would take philly only because i think next year they're gonna be poised to do it chip on shoulder type shit the year after, psh, hey, that is a banged up and beat. But I don't know if the Knicks will be the exact same roster or even still be trying to upward because I hate to admit it, man. There was a couple of years ago where we thought the Knicks was up and then they had that one random year being shit again. And then they went back to being on this type of timing. I can't trust that franchise 100% going forth. But this year, mm-hmm. yeah, this is their best shot. I know I got Miami making it to the ECF, but yeah, I'd, I'd bet on the Knicks making it there first before Philly does. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, this year I'd bet on the Knicks. Absolutely. No, I'm talking about like even the next three years, man. There's a curse uh, yeah, in Philly. Like, <laughs> for, me, for me, this year, Knicks, I know they hoping. But I just, Philly, don't let them get there before you. Don't do that. <laughs> I just, nah, I, I got to go Philly, bro. Don't do that. Philly done had a chip on their shoulder for five years, man. I don't know. Yeah, don't these are You know, <laughs> hey, that's, that's but the Knicks. But the Knicks been supposed to come back for thirty years. So I mean, like, what are we doing? Hey, like, hey. Ever since, I'm not gonna lie. The Knicks are back though. Like as of now, at least yeah. in my lifetime. Yeah, I get you. It's Melo. Since Melo, I've never seen the Knicks like like Knicks aura before. Like my granddad was a Knicks fan. <laughs> he grew up in the '70s. I mean, he loved them. I've never seen that until Melo went there, and even then, y'all know how I feel about Melo Shat. Like I wasn't, I wasn't moved. But now, I like the Knicks. I, I do. Mm. Uh, with that being said, B Souls, take it away, man. Wait, damn. There it is. All right, hot take of the week. Hot take of the week, man. Y'all never thought this was gonna come from me, but it will come from me today. Pause. Pause. No Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. Kevin Durant has become underrated, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Ooh, I like it. Yes, sir, oh. man. I think um, underappreciated season. His healthiest season in a minute. Uh, One of those guys who's been very healthy this season. I think people are underappreciating the backpack that he's had to put on for the Phoenix Suns. They've been injury riddled all year. And defensively, going into the season, they were asking for Yusuf Nurkic and Kevin Durant to carry that defense. And I think Kevin Durant has done a really good job of being a good defender this season. And in terms of just like his career, bro, I was looking at it. When did y'all think LeBron's longevity was like, oh, this is LeBron longevity once in like crazy longevity? 2022, probably 2021. Long story short, if you look at KD's longevity, he's getting there. Like KD is reaching like LeBron levels of longevity. And I know LeBron is like the dude that we talk about when it comes to crazy longevity, but KD might go down with like the second best longevity ever, bro. Mm. So, and we don't talk about KD enough. I, I feel like, I don't 